And now the Salt Lake County Health Director is explaining why he chose not to recommend a mask extension. During a press conference today, Edward's sharing the data that backed his decision. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks live in Salt Lake County this evening with those details. Haley. Well, Emily, more than one and a half million Utahns are now vaccinated against COVID-19 and our cases, hospitalizations and death rates continue to drop dramatically. All of these factors contributing to the Salt Lake County Health Department's decision to not extend the county's mask mandate. Last year, our community was in imminent danger. Danger of overwhelming our health care system and local public health orders masks being one of those were an important and appropriate measure to combat that surge. Now Salt Lake County Health Department Executive Director Gary Edwards says a public health order is not necessary. Now vaccination, not masks, is what will ultimately get us to the point of being able to declare this pandemic over. Edwards will continue to monitor the situation and has set parameters around the percentage of cases, case rates, ICU utilization and test positivity before he would reconsider his decision. Where we are right now, I believe we are in a good position to move forward with focusing on vaccination and recommending all public health measures, not requiring public health measures. Currently, one in three Salt Lake County residents are vaccinated. Edwards believes the state will achieve herd immunity by mid-June. Edwards has served as the health department director for 28 years prior to the pandemic. He only ever issued one public health order, and that was in 2010. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Haley. While masks will no longer be required by